hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to create this textured watercolor flower illustration in the app ibs paint text without using any background canvas so i don't uh, think you understand what i say so let me explain first these are the sum of illustration that i made with the background canvas on you can see that visible paper texture so uh, now uh, many of my followers subscribers ask me to um, draw flower watercolor flowers without using any background because background canvases are uh, uh, available only for the premium membership and if we don't have any premium membership how we can create the same flower with same texture but without using those background canvas so here i am going to show you that so first i am going to draw the basic flower something like a transparent flower that you may have seen in pinterest or any other uh, art websites so i am going to draw something like that and i am going to show you how to make them highly uh, you know watercolor textured without using without having any premium um uh, you know premium canvas or any other premium materials so here you can see if you want to change the position of the flower you can change uh, it using the transform tool and if you want to flip it you can use uh, make it uh, uh, flip horizontally or vertically using the options available on the a layer option so what i'm drawing is the leaves so i'm drawing the branches and the leaves um, and i'm going to use the lasso tool uh, to create that illustration so if you are new to my uh, channel please check out other watercolor illustration videos so you may understand what i'm doing so okay i want this to be like this so i want the flower to be big uh, covering the uh, canvas better so now i'm going to reduce the opacity of that layer since this layer is not going to be visible on our final artwork so it's only for the reference purpose so what i'm going to create is the transparent watercolor flats so for that i'm just going to draw each and every petals of that flower in separate layer using uh, the lasso tool in one layer and the blending mode of that layer is going to be multiply not only for this layer but for every layer that we use for this watercolor illustration so here you can see using watercolor edge brush and i'm using uh, something like a peach color to uh, create this textured uh, watercolor coloring and if you notice well you can see that i didn't use any background canvas i'm simply using that watercolor brush uh, and now to blend them little bit well, because we have more texture here and there so to blend them little bit uh, i'm using the watercolor water brush now so here you can see it is somehow blurred or blended well so then i am going to use the watercolor bleed brush to add some more colors and some more texture to this um, petal and we want some uh, like a burnt orange like a corners of that uh, petal so i am adding light strokes uh, here and there on the corners of that and if you don't know about the lasso tool please check out my uh, detailed tutorial about the lasso tool and uh, all other uh, alpha log um, all those tools uh, tutorial video so here you can see i'm adding uh, some more color shades to it uh, with the same watercolor bleed brush and here is the final look and you can see i just removed the selection from that laser tool 
and the layer blending mode is multiply so now I just created a new layer with the blending mode multiply and using the same lasso tool I'm just selecting that area and using the watercolor edge brush first I'm just creating textured coloring then I'm blending with watercolor water brush and I'm going to use the watercolor bleed brush to add some colors same process repeat and repeat um, in every tutorial of mine you have seen the same brush same method so you may find it easy to create the um, uh, artworks without any confusion because if I introduce so much pressures to you at initial stage you may feel like more difficult to what uh, you may not know where to use which brush something like that and here you can see in the first layer uh, in the first petal if you want to add texture click on the alpha lock and then using the uh, watercolor uh, edge brush you can add the texture and now in the we are in the third layer we are doing for the third petal now same process and here you can see this layer petal is uh, having the overlap uh, with the other two petals so this uh, look uh, will uh, you know and the final outcome of these overlapped uh, petals look better and give you some idea about what I'm doing so once I clear the lasso selection here you can see I clear the lasso selection and this is how it looks you can see each pe petal is in each layer different layer and if you want to make any changes in any of the petal or move them or copy them it's going to be very easy for you because we are working on this uh, different layer for each one so this is the final um, petal uh, flaws so here you can see i just created the folder and putting everything inside that folder which means it's like a uh, creating a group in ibs paint X. So next I just going to create the new layer and I'm going to draw remaining everything the stem the branches as well as the um, uh, Leaves I'm going to draw everything in a single layer since this have no overlaps you can see every leaves are on the different position and There is no overlap between them. So I'm just drawing everything in the single layer yeah? And if you want to make something like a layered, you know that, that overlap like look you can create multiple layers and create that overlap look and but if you want to create the same overlapped floor like look in a single layer it is not possible so i recommend you to create different uh, layers i mean multiple layers with the multiply blending mode to create that uh, uh, transparent overlapping uh, look so now you can see using the lasso tool i just select everything every area and now using watercolor edge brush green color i'm going to just add the color texture to it so so far i'm just using the watercolor edge brush here you can see if you want to have multiple shades of the same green you can simply just change the transparency of that uh, color you can uh, get that layered i mean highly textured with the multiple water strokes uh, without using multiple colors so that's the technique i usually do if you want to add some more darkness you can use a little bit darker color and now i'm adding some more textures here here so this watercolor edge brush gives highly textured uh, one so here you can see i just skipped some part which is um using the watercolor water brush i just blended them a little bit you have seen that process so many times so i just skipped it so now i'm going to add some more shades like dark shades at the corners using the watercolor bleed brush so here you can see to add some more water drop to dry water drop texture i'm using watercolor edge brush to create that uh, textured look so this is the final look we have done with the floor 
so now i'm going to create a folder and going to group all together which means the floor uh, folder as well as this leaf layer i'm going to put everything under the small uh, in another uh, folder and now i'm going to create the texture here comes the main part here you can see i just checked uh, i just went to the fill tip and hard brush and in the texture pattern i'm using drawing paper rough 3 and i'm just increasing the opacity if you don't clearly understand here you can see once i increase the opacity to maximum it goes uh, fully textured and um, you can just set the scale size if you want like a more gap to one you can keep the scale size big or if you want more minute texture you can go with the uh, you know smaller size and here you can see i just created a new layer with the blending mode color burn so if i change the layer blending mode to multiply here you can see this is how the brush looks you may feel confused now why i'm doing this and here i change to color burn here you can see once i change it to the color burn blending mode and if i reduce the opacity to like 10 to 15 percentage here we got the final texture look so once again i'm going to do the same thing with the increased scale size you can understand because here you can see if i use the drawing paper rough 3 canvas background this is how it looks but we don't have that now i'm going to do this with the brush felt tip and hard brush so you can see it is increasing the scale size so that the texture looks a little bit different now and now i kept the blending mode as multiply and changing to color blending color burn mode and reducing the opacity so you can still reduce it to get that realistic uh, watercolor paper texture without having any paper background so this is how this look but you can also try another um, uh, blending modes that are available like multiply and all those things now you can see i just put them everything in a single folder right so about that i just you have made this layer and kept it as a clipping uh, layer for that folder so now the uh, um, you know everything is available only for that floor um, everything on that fo uh, folder so if you want if you don't want them to cl uh, make it as clipping and if you want the background for entire um, uh, canvas then you can do this i just created a new layer below that folder and using any color you can paint using the magic wand tool and you can see the texture maybe in video you may not see clearly but if you zoom in very well you can clearly see the texture that is applied to that background things as well so i'm just saving both uh, as um, with color and without any color so here is the watercolor textured floor illustration but without using any background canvas i hope you like this tutorial if you so if you like so please subscribe to my channel thank you